Hi, my name is Matt Easton, and in this video I'm going to discuss a question that I often get is what happens if someone hits you with a car? To answer that question it really requires to put it in context. Are you referring to physical injuries, what happens to your body, or are you referring to the claims process, what happens with a claim? And in this video we're going to discuss both of those. With respect to physical injuries to the body, there are some that are obviously apparent, such as broken bones and bleeding and stitches and things like that. Some injuries aren't quite so apparent and are often referred to as soft tissue type injuries. Most of those soft tissue injuries will reach a maximum pain threshold, usually about 24 hours after the accident, and with the proper kind of care from a physical therapist, chiropractor, or something like that, usually resolve themselves completely in 8 to 10 weeks. Some cases, unfortunately, take longer than 8 to 10 weeks and may require an MRI or other diagnostic testing to find out exactly what's wrong. But the good news is, for the large group of people, the bell curve, so to speak, 80-90% of people will reach maximum recovery in about 8 to 10 weeks after an accident. The other part of the question is, what happens in the claims process after an accident? Well, once the insurance companies are aware of the claims, they're going to call and try and get recorded statements. And you really want to understand what they're trying to accomplish with those recorded statements. They are a business trying to reduce their expenses, and you're an expense. So when they call you, they're trying to get information from you that will be negative to you, beneficial to them so they can reduce their expenses. Our recommendation to you is when they want to ask about the injuries is that you simply say that you were physically injured, but you don't want to discuss the extent of your injuries until they're fully known and you're done treating. Now, understand though, that there are statutory time periods to bring in action. And if you don't bring it time within those time periods, it is waived. Generally speaking, you have two years for a car accident to bring a claim in California. There are some exceptions when the claims against a government entity or someone who is driving while in the course and scope of their employment with a government entity, it might be as short as six months. But it's certainly a much longer period than a week later when the insurance company is trying to get a statement from you. With respect to the process of what happens after a car accident, the issue really boils down to trying to resolve the case before going to a court or resolving it in the court system. When you're done with all of your treatment, then typically a demand package is given to the insurance company that's responsible for the accident. And in that demand package, we usually provide information that provides evidence of your medical treatment, your medical bills, as well as evidence of any wage loss and things of that nature. From that demand package, we make an attempt to settle the case. And if we don't get a reasonable offer, and unfortunately we usually don't, then we will file a lawsuit with the court. When we file a lawsuit with the court, oftentimes we get a more senior adjuster and or an attorney to take a look at the file, which gives us another opportunity to try and settle the case sooner than later. The chances of selling at that stage do go up, but unfortunately not all cases settle then, in which case you begin the litigation process. The first step of the litigation process is usually what's called the discovery phase. And in the discovery phase, we're providing responses to written questions about your injuries, providing them documents, and they're providing similar information to us. Then there might be a deposition which is not as bad as it sounds. Usually it lasts about an hour, and that's about it for most personal injury cases. And then we'll try one more time to resolve the case. If it's not resolved then, then unfortunately we do go to a trial and ask for a judge and or jury to decide the value of your claim. Statistically speaking, only about 2% of cases do wind up going to a judge or jury, but you have to treat every single case like it's going to go because if you don't, that's the one that does. Hopefully this video answered some of your questions about what happens after a car accident. My name is Matt Eason. If you've been involved in a car accident and you would like a free consultation with an attorney about your personal injury claims, I hope you'll consider giving me a call or my firm of Eason and Tamburnini. We're located at 1234 H Street, Sacramento, California, 95814. Our phone number is 916-438-1819. You can find us on the web at www.capcitylaw.com.